Hi folks, Jason Webster here. Welcome to this episode of Inside PTI. Hey, we are at the PTI farm and behind me you can see some of the strip cropping that we're doing here at the farm. Now strip cropping, what is that? We've got a high crop, a tall crop in corn, and then we've got a short crop, in this case cover crop, and then we do another four rows of corn. These are all 10 foot strips. Um, we've got soybeans that we've typically planted into these, these gaps between the corn. We've got that testing uh, as well this year, but this is kind of a unique experiment, kind of a first time for us at the research farm where we planted a cover crop blend. I call it a lettuce mix. We've got a different, all kinds of different species in here that we're going to do livestock grazing is a part of this strip cropping study. And you're probably wondering, livestock? What are you gonna do with livestock? Well, the whole idea with this is, I'm gonna bring livestock through here to graze this cover crop down while they're out here grazing. I'm gonna have them put manure, fertilizer in the ground as well. And we're gonna come in and we're gonna strip till this in the fall. And this is where my corn, hopefully my high yielding, uh, strip cropping corn is going to be next year, but we're setting the stage, building soil structure, building fertility, building soil health with this cover crop and livestock grazing project. Now, let's talk about the livestock here for a minute. What kind of livestock are we going to have in here? Well, let's kind of turn this picture around a little bit and show you how we're doing our livestock grazing. All right, so in order to do our grazing, we've implemented what's called the stock cropper. So this is a rolling livestock confinement unit that will move autonomously in the field to allow the livestock to graze. What do we have for livestock? You can see up here in the front, we've got some sheep up here. They're gonna do this grazing of the cover crops. They're gonna be putting manure in the ground. And then on the backside, We've actually got quite a few chickens on the backside that are going to scavenge and, and as well as put more fertility on the backside. So let me swing around here and I'll show you, you know, we got the sheep up front, but we've got the chickens in the back. Let's go to the back of this unit and take a look at the chickens. All right. So back behind it, kind of our finisher, if you will, is going to be all of these meat chickens that we brooded as small chicks and we've basically grown them out here in the field. And again, the main purpose of these chickens is manure aspects. We've been trying to bring more manure to this farm, but we're on the edge of town and we've really struggled with access to manure and then people kind of complaining when we're out here putting it on at the farm. So this is our way of addressing a couple different things on a sustainability basis. Number one, you know, we've got our strip cropping, trying to get high yield with a tall crop, short crop, extra sunlight into the corn. Then we bring the cover crop in as a way to build soil health and offer that ability to graze this livestock and then be able to get all that manure in the ground. Trying to set this stage up for high yielding corn for next year and try to keep improving this, this, this plot area, if you will, the soil over time, kind of as, as a sustainability project. So we're gonna sell these meat chickens off. We're on round two of the meat chickens. We've already set one uh, group to the butcher. And so we're trying to, to put this in as a, as a project to, to figure out if it's fe if feasible for a grower to do this. My main concern when I started this was, is this going to be more profitable than growing soybeans? Because we've struggled with soybeans as a short crop next to the corn, we've suffered some pretty good yield losses with it. So I said, I'm tired of it. Let's bring something else in and see if we can actually be more profitable. I don't know. We're going to put all the numbers together at the end of the year. I think we're going to need a couple of years time here to really understand the soil health benefits of this and the overall fertility benefits. If I've got all the manure here and I don't have to put on dry fertilizer in the future, as you know, at today's prices, that's going to add up to a lot of money. So a little something different we're doing at the farm. So today's Inside PTI, PTI Agronomy tip of the day is it's all about trying to build soil structure, build soil health, improve it, right? So we can get higher yield. What we're doing is bringing livestock in, using manure and the grazing effects along with the strip cropping to try to drive yield and try to drive profitability. If you want to see some of the projects we're working like this as well as others, come visit us at the PTI farm this summer. We've got events that are happening throughout July, 
August and September. We'd love for you to come to the farm and see some of the things we're working on like this. You can go to our website at precisionplanning.com, see all of our events. Love to see you this summer. Thanks for joining us for this episode of Inside PTI. Thanks. <laughs>